Hi, my name is Jamie Hacker. I'm a junior solution architect for Red Hat. And today I want to give a quick demo of Open Data Hub and show just how quick it is to deploy and get up and running by building a basic SVM model. So for those who don't know, Open Data Hub is an open source project that provides open source AI tools for running large and distributed AI workloads on OpenShift. Just a quick note before we begin, this isn't a tutorial on SVMs or machine learning. It's a demonstration to showcase how quick we can get Open Data Hub up and running on OpenShift. And I wanted to start off today by really giving you guys an insight into why I really like Open Data Hub. Previously, before I joined Red Hat, I worked in a large organization where their entire business model really revolved around data. And in particular, in my final year of that company, I took up the responsibilities of a data scientist. So I began to run into the problems that a data scientist would normally run into. So usually when I was working on a new model or a piece of analysis, um, I would find it hard to share those JupyterHub notebooks or scripts that I was working on with my colleagues for collaboration. And this could be down to multiple reasons, but one of the common reasons might have been that I was running packages on Python that they didn't have or they were running packages that I didn't have. Another big reason was um, that, or one of the problems, should I say, is that generally we were running our analysis or testing our models within our own local environments so on our local machines. And we would have been really bottlenecked and constrained. And, and I can already see, you know, or hear some questions in the back of my mind is to say, well, why didn't we go and get a VM spun up or get more compute power, basically? Um, and the reason why we didn't do that was because all of the analysis or nearly 90% of the analysis that we would have been running would have been ad hoc. It would have been a, a reactionary thing to a new event that's happened in the business, maybe um, a different KPI or maybe a bounce in the KPI that we want to investigate. Um, and really having to wait for IT ops to spin up um, a VM with all the required software on it really just would have bypassed the whole reason why we were investigating or analyzing that piece of data. So I want to start off today by showcasing really how easy it is to get Open Data Hub uh, up and running by deploying uh, Open Data Hub with an operator in OpenShift. And we're going to do that in the new project in OpenShift. And then I'm actually going to show you guys how quickly we can start working with Open Data Hub. And we're going to do that by building an SVM in Jupyter Hub. Um, and this SVM has already been created previously by me. Um, and we'll simply just be uploading the actual Jupyter Hub notebook file rather than coding on screen. So like I said, I'm going to show, start off today by showing how easy it is to deploy Open Data Hub and OpenShift. And we're going to be doing that by an operator. So when we talk about capability in data science, we have many different tools we can use. But deploying those tools on a server, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it can be complicated, it can take time, and it can be just generally time consuming for IT ops to get that done. So I want to show how literally in a few minutes we can get up and run with Open Data Hub, which has great tools in it like Apache Airflow, Apache Kafka, Spark, Argo, Grafana, and obviously Jupyter Hub. But that's only a small part of what's actually contained in Open Data Hub. And you can view the packages or the projects, should I say, in Open Data Hub via their website, which will be in the description below. So what we're going to cover is how we can create that project in OpenShift, and then how we can actually uh, use the Open Data Hub operator to deploy um, our Open Data platform so we can start working. So I want you guys, before we begin, just to pay attention to really how quick this whole process is. Um, really, once we have OpenShift already enabled or set up in our environment, um, it's a very quick process indeed. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is head over to our OpenShift cluster. And we're going to start off by creating a new project. So we're going to call this project, in this case, uh, ODH test vid. And you can name your project whatever you want. I'm just going to call it this so I know what it is. So once this is created, you can see that we can head over to workloads and find that we actually don't have a workload within our project yet. That's because we haven't actually launched uh, or initiated a new instance of um, Open Data Hub via the operators. To get the Open Data Hub operator, we head over to op Operator Hub um, in OpenShift. And Operator Hub is essentially our collection of operators from the community and both Red Hat that you can use in OpenShift. In this case, we're going to just search for Open Data Hub, and you can see here that I've already got it installed in my instance. Um, but essentially, this button here will be replaced with install instead of uninstall if you have it, haven't already installed it. If we head down to installed operators, we can actually click on the Open Data Hub and create a new instance. And in this case, we can either do it via the form or we can do it via YAML. 
Um, and in this case, I'm going to do it via YAML just because I want to change some of the AI tools that were installed in this version or this instance of Open Data Hub. And essentially, I just want Jupyter Hub and Apache Spark uh, for the demo that I'll be doing today. Once we click create, what's going to happen in the background is the operator is going to go off and actually create or do all the work that is necessary for us to have that Open Data Hub platform set up. So I'm going to check back in once that's done. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of your cluster and also depending on which uh, AI tools you install. Okay, so I've let the operator run for a few minutes. And if I head back to the projects page and go on to our Open Data Hub test vid project, you can see here that in recent events that has spun up um, containers for Jupyter Hub. And if we also work, go over to the workloads, we can see that Jupyter Hub is here along with the Spark operator. So it looks like it's been successful. Now, now that that's done, um, the one last thing we have need to do before we can move on to the next step, which is showing how we can actually uh, put workloads on Open Data Hub, is we need to access Jupyter Hub and just make sure that's set up correctly. And we can access Jupyter Hub via going over to the networking side and going on to routes. And this will show the exposed routes that we have to Jupyter Hub. And there we can see it exposed here. So we're going to sign in with our OpenShift credentials. So after signing in with our OpenShift credentials, it's going to ask us to authorize access. And that's what we're going to allow it to do. And then it will come up with the Jupyter Hub server image that we want to spawn. In this case, the default one that comes out of the box is grand for us. Um, but if we wanted to put in some AWS access keys or secret access keys, we can do that as well. I'm going to click spawn and uh, that will also take a few more minutes and I'll come back once that's done. So just after a few minutes, um, we've spawned up our Jupyter Hub server and you can see that I've opened up a blank uh, Jupyter Hub notebook so that we can actually start uh, working. But I want to just uh, cover what we've seen there. So really what we've seen is how easily uh, deployable OpenShift or Open Data Hub is on OpenShift with the Open Data Hub operator. Uh, and really, you know, in, we're now in a position to actually start doing some work and actually analyzing some data. And that's what I want to cover next is, you know, how quickly now that Open Data Hub is up, um, how quickly we can start getting some machine learning models in our case up and running. Um, and that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at, you know, how can we get an SVM up on Open Data Hub as just an example of a machine learning model. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you is how I created a, a Jupyter Hub locally. I'm going to upload it to our now uh, Jupyter Lab environment within Open Data Hub, um, and we're going to start doing some analysis. And really, the the main uh, point to show in this is really how quickly um, we've been able to get up and running. So to show how we can actually or how quickly we can get up and running, um, I've created a SVM already in a Jupyter Lab notebook. And that SVM uh, essentially goes through the IRIS stock data set and uses an SVM to hopefully classify correctly um, what flower type uh, the petals belong to based on their height and their width of the uh, petals. So if I upload that IRIS data set or that IRIS notebook now, you can see that this is ran successfully. And um, you can see here that I've had functions in here that go through this machine learning algorithm and uh, then conduct the SVM. Um, and you can see that the SVM is trying to um, classify correctly based upon those two parameters that I've given it. And essentially what this is showing is really how quickly we've gotten up and running with um, getting a machine learning analysis or workload within Open Data Hub. Now this is a very simple example, I'll give you that, but it really shows you know once the Open Data Hub the operator has successfully installed an instance of Open Data Hub within your OpenShift cluster, how quick you can get up and running. Um, and that's, you know, just to cover what we've actually, what we've seen there in the last minute or two is really, you know, how quick it is to get up and running um, and getting some work done with Open Data Hub. So what we've really covered is, you know, how easily uh, deployable Open Data Hub is on OpenShift with that operator and how quick we can get workloads really um, on Open Data Hub and start using Open Data Hub successfully. Um, and Open Data Hub with this operator really provides a platform, a data platform that you can begin using and begin placing your AI and machine learning workloads on top of. Um, and I think that's a good point to return back to that open story I told where as I work and as a data scientist in my previous organization, I really would have killed, um, well, killed is a bad word, but I really would have 
you know, celebrated having something like Open Data Hub within our organization. And it would have made a world of a difference to me and my colleagues, you know, being able to quickly deploy a platform um, with no, really no, you know, uh, configuration really necessary, very basic administration tools uh, or skills, should they say, needed. Um, and to be able to work together uh, and not be constrained by, you know, um, our hardware or any of the issues that we'll have collaborating really could have led to more breakthroughs in our role um, and hopefully would have led to you know finding those pieces of you know or nuggets of gold of information that we'll, we'll often look for in data science or data analysis um, and really I, that that was the purpose of this video i hope you enjoyed it you know it's a very quick introduction to open data hub how you can op deploy open data hub on openshift um, and in the future, I'll be releasing another video about Open Data Hub and showing maybe a different um, machine learning or AI workload that you can place in Open Data Hub and maybe not so static with the data. Um, so I hope you, you look forward to that and thanks for watching.